Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru. We're playing level 419, which is a hard level. We have 50 moves to obtain 18,000 points, not a problem, but we also have to collect two color bombs, five wrapped, and 100 yellow candies. The best way to start that, of course, is to try to clear out as much of this frosting as possible. This is not going to be the only hindrance in our game. We're also going to have licorice twirls that come down, and then question marks, oh, there's a licorice twirl, question marks that can be good or evil, and we just don't know until we unwrap them. Uh, but right now, definitely, the frosting is the biggest hindrance. We're not able to make many moves. I wouldn't be surprised if we don't get a shuffle. <laughs> she says perfectly timed. If I can, I like to work on the same side and make a big dent here, but I ran out of moves there. So I'm switching over to this side, and then when I can't make any on a frosting, then I have to make the moves that are just available to me. Okay, so, see, now I have one more space open, so I have that much more room, well, three, actually, that much more room to make more candies and more specials. Now, even though we're focusing on collecting yellow, I don't always necessarily take yellow. I'm going to do it this time because it's got a fairly good number of yellow on the board. But the key when you're collecting a certain color is not to focus on that color, but to focus on circulating as much candy as you can throughout the board. Look at that. I made a non-yellow move and it brought in a yellow and made a special out of it because I could focus on the yellow and collect every single yellow that showed up, but what would happen eventually is I would be frustrated at the end thinking, well, I collected every yellow and there weren't a hundred on the board. There was no way I could have made that order. What I have to remember is it's my responsibility to circulate enough candy on the board so I can collect all of those orders. Now, I don't have a whole lot of yellow on the board. At this point in time, it would be better for me to take out something like blue or green. What I'm going to do is hold on just a little bit longer and see if I might be able to pair that up with a special, since I do have a lot of question marks coming down that may end up being specials. And of course, the other thing I have on the board is this wonderful little UFO, if I can ever get to it. And here we will get to it, and it'll go, and it's probably going to detonate this, but that's okay. Then that's an efficiency of moves. It'll still take out the color bomb, so it'll take out a particular color. Well, and it didn't, but it does it in less moves. Okay, so I still need one of these and one of these, and I've got them on the board. So now really all I need is yellow. And again, I'm not going to focus on yellow. I'm going to focus on how can I get the most movement on the board. So here I'm going to go ahead and use this um, and it's going to cut out, take out a swath of 3 by 3 and it's detonating the color bomb. So it's making a lot of movement. Okay, and not focusing on the yellow but focusing on taking out a swath of 3 by 3 and look. I went from 49 down to 37 instead of just matching three yellows together. All right, let's see. Make a special. The specials in the corners aren't always that great. Maybe if I can combine, even just cutting a swath of one by one helps a little bit here. Uh, this is going to be directly related to our order. I'm hoping it's a color bomb instead of just a yellow. Uh, it's just a yellow. <laughs> It doesn't know whether or not we've collected. So when we get those lucky candies, that's what they're called, they could be anything. Oh, I see an opportunity to make a color bomb or a color bomb. No way to connect those. And the color bombs are so helpful when we're trying to clear out a lot of space. Okay, so with my remaining eight moves, I need 23. I need to see, again, efficiency of moves, what's going to work. If I take out these orange, it'll take out the purple, set up a cascade. It wasn't a huge cascade, but now I can do this. And now I can do this. And this is going to clear out so much. And it's going to take out the yellow that's on the board, and it's going to bring more yellow onto the board. So this is how we go about beating level 419, this hard level. If you're still struggling after this, put in the comment section exactly what's hanging you up. Of course, bring in boosters if you need to. 
um, and try a few more times and then put a message to me if you're still stuck. If you want to see more videos, of course, you should always subscribe. Thanks for watching.